How can I help the students in my class and in my school become better writers, much better writers? Students will buddy up with a member of our school community matching up senior and middle school students. To regularly share their writing with each other via our Google Apps for Education platform. We'll plan for specific learning engagements where students from different classes and year levels collaborate, not just working together, but working interdependently to revise, rework and improve their writing. While previously it was more difficult to collaborate beyond the classroom and definitely beyond the school, now students and teachers have access to fast, reliable internet. This means we can collaborate anytime, anywhere, and teachers can plan for learning engagements that weren't previously possible. I have identified the need for the intervention through formative and summative assessments and through observations and discussions with students in class. The students are telling me they feel like they're not writing for authentic audiences. The writing that they're doing is often static. It's not writing in motion where, where they're receiving feedback from uh, an authentic audience where they then have a chance to go and rework their writing to improve it. Um, somebody who's right next to me? Or like somebody in my group? The teacher? Um, normally like a buddy that I'm working with? Yeah, It'd be good if people that aren't even in our class would read my writing and give me feedback instead of the same people all the time. Because, apart from you, who's the other person they've got? You know, interacting with them when they're learning. That's fine. And that's one of the things with my reciprocal writing that I'm hoping to introduce is that it gives the students a much larger audience. audience. Um, because, you know, if you think about it in class, if we're using pencil and paper, often the audience is the author and yep. one other, and the one mm. other is going to be the teacher. Mm, um, and, and, you know, that can be difficult for children to think I'm doing all this learning and I'm presenting this fantastic yeah. ideas. Yeah. We'll be those students that think, what's the point? Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Who am I doing it? Why am I doing yeah. this? Yeah. It's quite a motivation if they know they're doing doing it for someone that's going to see it within the yeah. school. And it's bringing, you know, that's not a teacher anyway. Global if it's another student, as well. yeah. especially if it's someone older, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's quite a motivation. And, and I'm quite, a, quite aware that also when I'm if I'm a student and I'm looking at someone else's learning, then I'm clarifying my own learning in my mind as well. I'm making connections to what I've been learning, uh, to what I've done well, to what, what I've seen in the other learnings, and what I could go and take back to my own yeah, so writing. During guided writing sessions, the students are using checklists and rubrics that are usually teacher generated to check punctuation and sentence structure. I found that during independent writing, they weren't doing this. Being data informed is very important to see where the next learning steps are for the students. Here on the ESTIL writing assessment, I could see that the ideas, structure, organisation and vocabulary of my students was looking pretty good. Obviously there are some students achieving well above and some students well below. But the sentence and punctuation aspects of this writing were of concern. In general, the students scored a lot lower on these two aspects of the writing assessment, so this is going to be the focus for my inquiry. My school's vision also guides me. It's drawn from uh, the community, the special character of our school, and the national curriculum. And it states that we're a community of learners who are striving to develop confident, connected, actively involved, lifelong learners. As Slave and Wenger commented, the community relies on the social relationships and the co-participation of everyone involved to help the learner. Not only do we aim for our learners to be connected online, but also connected to other learners, to other communities and also to wider audiences. We're helping learners in our school become lifelong learners with their flexible thinkers and able to adapt to different situations and contexts. The principal function of the New Zealand curriculum is to set the direction for teaching and learning and to provide a basis for the curriculum. 
through the vision, values, key competencies, the learning areas and the principles. The key competencies enable our students to contribute as active members of our communities beyond just the subjects that we're teaching. The ability to be creative and critical thinkers and to make sense of information, experiences and ideas. To use languages, symbols and make meaning from these. To be able to manage ourselves and to be motivated to, with an attitude of can do. And to relate to others about what's happening in our learning. The literacy learning progressions are there as a guide, stepping stones, to help provide a pathway for student learning. The literacy learning progressions for the focus students of my intervention state that the student should be independently revising, editing their writing, to clarify meaning and add impact, and this is done in response to feedback, which they'll be getting from their writing buddies. Through specific and targeted learning engagements, students will become able to edit their writing by being scaffolded with the target of them being able to revise and rework theirs and their peers' writing. The SIMA model of technology integration means we're moving from merely enhancing learning engagements to redefining it and transformational learning. At the substitution stage of this learning engagement, Students will be using the word processing part of Google Documents rather than simply using pen and paper. The technology isn't really adding any value to the learning. At the augmentation stage of the SAMA model, within the context of my learning intervention, students will be using Google Apps where they could be using tools such as the research tool or just sharing documents with other users without actually getting any feedback. At the modification stage, not only sharing occurs, but being able to get and give feedback via the comment box means that the learning engagement is being significantly modified and having value added. There can be true interdependent collaboration at this stage. Students can be giving and receiving feedback, making suggestions and using the chat function to make sure that they're communicating with their buddy. At the redefinition stage of this learning engagement in the context of buddy writing, it would mean that the students are able to share their documents and their learning with a much larger audience, and the feedback loop is active. This also helps the students to know that they are crafting their writing for a much larger audience. This will lead to students identifying that there is a real purpose for their writing.